Hi my friends, I want to make general evaluation before the second week of Serie A. Firstly, I start with Roma Juventus game of the week. After I talk about Inter Fiorentina game and make short comments about other matches in Serie A. Finally, I will guess the results of the games. Every week I share my predictions matches that likely to end in a draw. Let's start with Roma Juventus game. First week Juventus got comfortable and clear win against Sampdoria 3-0. Especially Aaron Ramsey, Dejan Kulusevski and Cristiano Ronaldo sealed on this victory. Uh, this week Federico Bernardeschi and Alexandro are injured. Juventus will be better than last season under the management of Andrea Pirlo. The season started badly for Roma. They played an ordinary game against Verona and the match was finished nil-nil draw. I think strong and confident team Juventus with their new coach Andrea Pirlo will win this game. Yes, go on with Inter Fiorentina game. In the first week of Serie A, Inter haven't played. The, they played against Pisa in friendly game and won 7 0. La Torre Martinez scored 3 goals, hat trick. Christian Eriksen scored 2 goals and 1 goal from Lukaku, also 1 goal from Roberto Gagliardini. In the opening week of Serie A, Fiorentina played excellent against Torino and got 3 points, a goal of Gaetano Castrovilli. That the assist was done by Federico Chiesa. Additionally, Cristiano Biraghi came back to Fiorentina and used left wing successfully carried the ball forward. Also new transfer from Milan experienced Giacomo Bonaventura was efficient his first game with Fiorentina. I think it will be very hard match. Last year the score was nil nil at Milano. This time my prediction is either with one goal difference Inter wins or ends in a draw. Yes, let's go on with Crotone Milan game. In the opening week of Serie A, Milan got comfortable and clear win against Bologna. 39 years old Zlatan was the star of this game. He scored two goals by playing excellent. Milan in great mood. Crotone rise to Serie A this season. Last week they were ineffective in Genoa game and 4-1 lost. Crotone is very weak. They are about to relegate back to Serie B this year. My prediction is Milan will win this away game against Crotone. Yes, let's go on with Napoli Genoa game. In the starting week of Serie A, Napoli won 2-0 against Parma at Ennio Tardini. It was paced and unpleasant game. In the second half, when new transfer of Simhan get into the pitch, the game's fate was changed. Vice Mertens and Lorenzo Insigne scored the goals. By the way, Herving Lozano played very good on the right wing. Genoa started with clear 4-1 win to Serie A against weak opponent Crotone. Genoa made good transfers like Zapacosta, Badeli, Piaccia and Zaic. I think in this match Napoli is closer to winning but it won't be easy for two teams. Yes, Torino-Atalanta. Atalanta 
is going to win because Atalanta is special and different team. They get successful results in away games. Cagliari Lazio game will be so hard. I think this match is open to all consequences. Sampdoria Benevento. Sampdoria lost against Juventus normally last week, but I think they will win this week against Benevento at home under the management of experienced coach Claudio Ranieri. Spezia Sassuolo. It will be so hard for Spezia that rising to Serie A this season. I think Sassuolo will get the win. Verona Udinese. There will be a balanced match. It's not easy to beat Verona in its own field, but Udinese is stubborn team. My prediction is draw for this game. Bologna Parma. It's last game. Monday night. In the first week of Serie A, these two teams lost against their strong opponents. I think this is the second game close to draw after Verona Udinese match. My prediction is draw for Bologna Parma game. That's all I have to say for this week in Serie A. I would be happy if you indicate your suggestions and opinions in the comments section. See you later. Bye.